Okay, welcome everyone. We are here today to reveal our quote to you. And I am part of a gathering of such wonderful, strong, powerful, God-loving women. And we have joined together to bring Motivation Monday, which we hashtag Motive Monday, um, so that everybody who is involved with us via social media can get some joy and some happiness and some good motivation at the start of the week. So we have a group of ladies here. We're going to get right on into it so that everybody can have some time. I'm going to read the quote first. Our hashtag this week was hashtag hope. And so the quote this week is from an author, Barbara Kingsolver, and she wrote, the very least you can do in your life is to figure out what you hope for. And the most you can do is to live inside that hope. So Lenore, can you give us your take on what that quote meant for you this week? Yes, absolutely. Thank you, uh, Noelle. Um, for me, hope is um, hope is just looking forward to what you want to experience in life. And so, for me right now, I am. I would say the season that I'm in in my life is a transitional period. So I'm transitioning, and in my life, every so many years. I go through this. So I am um, identifying, really identifying what I want to do now, what I'm supposed to do. So I am in uh, constant communication with God because I need to get it right. So um, I'm identifying that. And as God is showing me, the, revealing to me the things that the path that I'm supposed to take, I'm working to live within that hope, be it, uh, be it um, coaching, taking some personal coaching classes, developing classes, um, reaching out to people, being a part of this mode of Monday, because I love to, to help people and encourage people. So I'm trying to be on point with that. So that's what it meant for me, just to um, keep me uh, focused on the transition period that I'm in currently. So it was good for me. Thank you and back to you, Noelle. That's beautiful. You are always developing and we see that in you and you are so beautiful already. But I know that for you, growth is is important and I know you give all of your, your hopes and dreams to God. Thank you, Lenore. So next up we have beautiful Dawn McGee. Dawn, talk to us about hashtag hope. Thank you, Noelle. And um, yes, this is a very special hashtag for me, especially this, the meaning of this quote for me has to do with God's direction of you know, his will for my life. Um, I talk about coloring your canvas of life and that sort of thing. And life is a journey. So what is God's will for my life? And my hashtag hope means that am I walking in his will? Am I doing the things that he wants me to do, regardless of those trials and tribulations and everything that comes at you from a million different directions that is trying to defeat you? Um, in fact, this, this hashtag is very, very um, consequential, uh, coincidental because I am studying Unshakable Hope by Max Licato. And, and it talks about uh, building our lives, living on God's promises. And despite our trials and tribulations, we will always have hope. I will always have hope, I have the faith in his will for my life and hope along the way regardless of what comes my way. So that's what that means to me. Thank you, Noel. Wow, that's a wonderful coincidence and a book that we should all look into. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dawn. And next up, we have Kiwi Whitehead. And I know Kiwi Whitehead is gonna bring us the goods on this. So go ahead, Kiwi. 
Well, hope for me, I have like a tagline back from a business I've done previously called Future Hope to Many. And in my vision and mission, it is to share the message of hope. And the way that we do that is by leading by example, that if I can do it, anybody can do it. People are looking to me. They're looking for me to go win for my family so they can have hope to win for their family. Because this gal from North Carolina who didn't have the best last name, didn't wasn't rich, didn't know the right people, all the odds against me, I go do it. So I give and spread that message of hope. And also hope reminds me of breaking through. From this quote, I just want to break it down. The very least we can do is have hope. Okay, so we have hope, but then we must live inside that hope. So I believe breaking free and breaking through things is what we focus on. If we focus on the hope and live inside the hope, it will multiply. But if we focus on the lack or focus on not having hope or focus on all the negative and focus on the bad, we're going to multiply that. So for me, that's what hope means. Back to you, Noel. Wow, that's a strong message, Kiwi. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. And um, yeah, we are going to go right in to Kat. Hashtag crazy Kat. Kat, <laughs> there with the beautiful palm trees. Talk to us. Hi, how are you guys? I loved this quote and thank you so much, Noelle. This is just a beautiful meeting. Um, I think about the fact that God doesn't give us dreams that we weren't meant to live, right? But I, I like a lot of people, spend a lot of my life in the life zombie, right? Stuck in the system, living in the matrix, doing the deal, doing what we're told repeating the rinse and repeat and you're like you have these big dreams in your heart and God's going I have a different path for you but you're so scared and you're holding on to this bag of junk you know what I mean and it's like trust in the hope from God and let the junk go and go live free like a butterfly like the life he intended us to live mm -hmm. and help other people do the same yes wow yeah I have to repeat and I might not have the right wor last word here but I loved what you said. God doesn't give us dreams we weren't meant to live. Oh my goodness. That just gives me the chills. Thank you, Kat. Thanks for sharing that with us. All right. Oh, I just dropped my list. You got... <laughs> Sorry, I can't flip a piece of paper over. Next up, Carmen. Carmen from Canada. Go ahead. Hi. You know, um, this, this, was, this was a really great quote. And, you know, in, in one of my hashtags, one of the days, it, it says, I put life as a funny way of working out just when you start to believe it never will. And, you know, when you vision something and that you desire, you want to build in your life, you want uh, a goal, to, an achievement, you know, things like that. And, and sometimes just when you think that it's not going to happen, you're you're hoping you're hoping and hoping and then all of a sudden god hands it to you in so much of a better way that you never even imagined never even imagined it so that's why when you're hoping so much and you're focusing on one thing uh, but that hope that faith it just it just gives you something so much better in in it, you never would have imagined. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and I think sometimes if we're doubting, you know, um, in this this dream that we have that we're giving to the universe, but we see, you know, doubts along the way, but we want to know what God had in store for us. It's kind of like going on a trip to Italy. We don't want to know all of the beautiful food and and sights and you know experiences that we're going to have before we get to them because when would we we wouldn't be able to experience the pleasure in it all so sometimes i i remember that that somebody told me thank you carmen um next up we have sally hi thank you so for me this really brings me back to kind of my my, my baseline of being a servant leader and always coming back to that are my actions serving god and through that, I always visualize, you know, being a light 
shining my light or his light through me and lighting the path for others through hope. And that hope is looks different for everyone. And I, I have some acronyms that I think kind of illustrate that. So hope could be help open people's eyes. Hope can be hanging on to positive expectations. Hope could be happy opportunities presented every day. Hope, hold on, pain ends, which just is so profound. And lastly, helping others prosper eternally. And so just really tuning in to the message of hope is so customized. And when we are present in God's name, we can shine that light very focused on what, what people need as we, um, as we come in contact with them. And I just love being part of a community that has this exponential growth and um, it's very exciting. And, and using that light analogy, it's just like sometimes we're so hyper-focused and the light is like a pin light and what we're doing on a weekly basis, we just shine that light in a very wide, wide cast. So those are the things that hope means to me. Wow, that was awesome, Sally. I love all those acronyms that you shared with us. I really do. Um, and, and you always speak so well. I always love to hear from you. You are, you are a light and a lighthouse for me, that's for sure. And next we have Bethany. I see Bethany on my screen. Thanks, Bethany. Oh. Go ahead. I don't know about y'all, but I am so grateful that I have something to hope for and I have something that I have hope in. And I will just share. Now, I think that honestly, this will sum it up for me. This is my favorite verse of scripture and I read it every day of my life. And it's found in Jeremiah 29 and 11. Now I'm actually going to read it in the message translation. It just, the words are so powerful, but it says, I'll show up and take care of you as I promised and bring you back home. I know what I'm doing. I have it all planned out. Plans to take care of you, not abandon you. Plans to give you the future you hope for. Hashtag hope. If we will stay focused and we will know that our hope is found in him and he will give us that hope and that future that goes far beyond anything we can ever imagine or dream or think. And I truly believe that. And I hope that that gives someone hashtag hope today yeah. as it does every day. Oh, that's wonderful. And that really brought it home for all of us, huh? Wow. Another one with, with chills. Thank you so much, Bethany, for sharing that. I'm going to keep that in front of me every day as well. So we'll post it as we post this video so that everybody can make sure to have that. And um, I'm just gonna read the quote one more time. Um, and I, I can honestly say it meant something different the week past when I found it than it does to me today. Um, the very least you can do in your life is to figure out what you hope for. And the most you can do is live inside that hope. And um, for me today, I got a message from somebody saying that um, the messages that we were sharing in our, in our posts were very, um, were really lighting her up. And um, I just shared with her that, you know, at one point in my life, I was not a very happy girl, but I knew that I wanted that. I had so much desire to find my way back to happiness. And I knew I would get there, but I just didn't know how. So I worked on myself a lot. And I sought guidance and I sought just in every path and form of my life to get that. And I still work on it today. But I, but I wake up every day in, in gratitude for everything that I have. So I do feel like um, as I grow and find other things that I, that I hope and I desire and I hope for others, um, that that vision grows. But I, I can honestly say today that I live inside that hope that I had for myself back then. And, and really, you know, our, our mission here is like, like Sally was saying, to be that light for everyone. So my hope 
for everyone who's watched this is that you have found nuggets of strength, of happiness, of faith, of love, of aspiration and dreams that you can hold on to and take with you and keep charging ahead and, and continue to be a part of this with us. We so appreciate you watching and joining us today. Thank you so much.